Tonight, we are hearing one-on-one -on -one from the man tasked with fixing Mississippi's broken prison system. 12 News, Linnea Lewis sat down with the newly appointed MDOC Commissioner, Burl Kane, about his plans and his controversial past. She joins us now in the studio. Linnea? Melanie, Commissioner Burl Kane worked in corrections in Louisiana for four decades. He tells me he decided to come out of retirement and come to Mississippi, not only for the money, but to help restore order. One of those ways through faith. It's about correcting deviant behavior. That's what corrections is. It's not lock and feed, torture and torment. It's changing people and less victims of violent crime. Bro Kane is back in the corrections field four years after he retired as warden of Louisiana's Angola prison. He's bringing his strategy to Mississippi state prisons. He calls it moral rehabilitation. We're not going to have the gang problem after a period of time. We're going to have all that gone and worked out. And we have some plans for that. Some are, some are going to rebel and resist change. Kane says he knows about the violent history of prisons in Mississippi, especially Parchment. He says Angola was the same way at first. Angola was wild and woolly, and uh, I was back every night. Someone was getting, getting stabbed. The lock in the sock was a favorite weapon. Kane chose to fight the violence with faith. He implemented the New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary. He says it turned Angola around in just two years. But with success came reports of side dealings, including one for more than $2 million. I asked him about it. Here I am. I didn't get arrested. I didn't do anything wrong. I have no ethics violation, so no wrongdoing was found. kane has been on the job for just two weeks, and he has plans on moving MDOC forward. Statewide prison GED programs, vocational training, and even hiring more correctional officers. We can say, okay, we like you, we're going to hire you, and you're going to be on the payroll tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So you can just start getting your, you just start being, making time the next day. And people have to pay rent. They can't wait two or three weeks for a job. Commissioner Kane says at this time, there's no plans to raise the $27,000 salary for COs. He wants to focus on filling positions first. Commissioner Bro Kane is set to visit Parchman for the first time Friday and plans to get feedback from inmates and staff on the conditions many deem inhumane. Byron.